Out of the Park Baseball 2018. It's a statistics-driven baseball simulation series whew, that releases a new version every year just like the Football Manager series does. I've been playing these games since the 2014 version appeared in the Humble Bundle, so it's probably been about three years now. Each new version adds quite a bit, expanding on the historical data as well as adding new stuff to the software to make it worth buying. The changes that I immediately noticed is the 3D mode, which they've been expanding on every year. Now it has some sort of representation of the action with little peg characters acting out the game as, as opposed to just the icon and text only method they used to use. When I play these games, I tend to use custom leagues entirely of fabricated teams with nothing based on reality. So yeah, they do have plenty of historical data. They've included this past year in baseball, so you can replay the Cubs-Indians World Series if you want. Personally, I've enjoyed tracking the statistics of fictional teams. That's where I find the fun in Out of the Park Baseball. One new addition I've been having fun with, though, is in Exhibition Mode, uh, which lets me make historical matchups without having to create an entire league. That whole league creation process is very doable, but if you're only trying to make one game, it can be kind of lengthy. So it's nice that they added this feature. One way I'd like to see them expand on this, though, is to include the selection of custom teams from, from custom files. That'd be a fun way to have two players test their custom-based teams against each other. So if I put my best team in my custom league against your best team in your custom league, as it stands right now, I don't know if there's a way to do that. One small update that I appreciate is if I wanted to skip an entire game, it used to stop me when substitutions were needed, which made it drag out. So if I just wanted to casually step through the first three innings and then skip to the ninth inning, now it will actually skip to the ninth inning instead of stopping me somewhere on the sixth or seventh and asking me who the relief pitchers or, or you know injury replacements are going to be. So now the big question is, is it worth buying? Well, if you're new to the series and interested in baseball, I can't recommend it enough. It really has a lot to offer, and it's one of the few games that's able to walk the tightrope between pleasing guys like me who just enjoy superficial, fun, light, custom kind of game, and those who really want to get down with the nitty-gritty and be involved in things like the draft and scouting and trading and farm teams. Also, it's not to be understated that this version appears to have broken nothing. It's everything that previously worked seems to still work, and that's a big plus. If you're an older user deciding whether or not to buy in, I would say this version is a win. The new 3D mode's a huge break breakthrough. In the past, I would just revert back to 2D. Take a look at whatever they did the new year. Okay, that's great, but then I just wanted to play in 2D. This is the first version where 3D for me is a viable option to play. I mean, it's not perfect. You can see portions of the crowd which are cut and half to make the texture fit on the object that represents the stands but it still looks and feels nice I mean it, it looks a little bit better every year this year is a big breakthrough in the 3d department again the old-fashioned 2d mode is still supported if you prefer to play that um, I, I one thing I enjoyed doing is playing 2d mode over a historical picture of a baseball field so I could play on the polo grounds or something like that you can still do that in this version of the game if you so desire Steam Workshop is also supported, although the game just came out and there's nothing up there yet. But to be honest, the previous version was also supported, uh, and its workshop was pretty underutilized. Even to this day, I only see eight items available. The workshop is overall integrated really well. In-game, there's a drop-down with an option that says Workshop uh, Central, so it's, it's all fully integrated. You don't have to leave out of the game to cruise through the workshop. So I, I would like to see us come together and create at least a few different things in the workshop for fun. Even just some silly things to make it worth it. I mean, I, 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 it always feels like such a waste of potential to see a, you know, a game get workshop support and have the workshop have nothing in it. You can import your save from previous versions as before, but it won't let you skip a year. So if you got a 2016 custom game and you didn't buy 2017, then you're out of luck. A uh, couple of options if you find yourself in that situation. You can go to the forums and see if you can get someone who owns the missing game to convert it for you. I'm also told that you can get a demo copy of your missing version and that will enable you to convert it and then you can take that converted save file and port it into the following year. So there are ways around it, but uh, it's just it's still one of those frustrations that you have to get it every year if you really want to move move your save file on down the line. This is a fully Linux compatible game. I ran it mostly in Windows 7, but I tested it in Linux Mint and it ran just fine. Also, the Linux compatibility Steam curators, they report a fully functional Linux port. So Linux guys have at it. For the sake of disclosure, uh, a review copy of Out of the Park Baseball was provided to me by Out of the Park Developments. However, I've been a longtime user and fan of the series, buying 14, 15, and 17 all on my own. If you have 2016, please send me a message. Um, there is also a franchise hockey manager, which is created by the same team. 
They're up to Franchise Hockey Manager 3, although I have not played that yet. Hopefully I can get my hands on a copy of that soon, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys. This is Critical Failure for Tiger Claw TV. Signing off.